The whole time you're rooting for this Hemingway guy to survive the war and to be with the woman that he it's loves. It's four o'clock in the morning. Can't somebody say, hey, let's have a good ending to the story? I can't apologize. You know what I will do? I will apologize on behalf of Ernest Hemingway, because that's who's to blame here. Yeah, have Ernest Hemingway call us and apologize to us, too. These are some of my favorite people. They're extremely passionate about what they care about in their lives, yet they can be unstable. Can you talk about something that you did before or after? Yeah, about a week before the incident, I called the cops and I told them that my wife and the history guy were plotting against me by embezzling money from the local high school, which... Wasn't true, it was a delusion. And we later found out from the hospital that's because I'm, uh... Undiagnosed bipolar. Yeah. It's got heartbreaking stuff in it, but it also can be very funny. Come on, Pat. Come on. A little bit more soul, Pat. Black it up, Pat. What does that mean? You know damn well what it means. Black it up. <laughs> Bradley Cooper's character traverses the realm from being extremely volatile, reactive person. I got nothing but love for you, brother. On the other hand, he's very beautiful and very sensitive. You know, and I love that you can have those two qualities in this character, and Bradley puts them together so well. I'm tired, I wanna go. Are you gonna walk me home or what? You have poor social skills. You have a problem. I have a problem? Mm -hmm. You say more inappropriate things than appropriate things. Jennifer, I mean, Jennifer is amazing. And she is wise beyond her years and has an ability and a confidence that seems to just show up. Why did you order raisin bread? Why did you order tea? Because you ordered raisin bread. I ordered raisin bread because I didn't want there to be any mistaking it for a date. It can still be a date if you order raisin bread. It's not a date. She can seem older than her years, and she has, a, she has an emotional intuitiveness and intensity that just kind of comes across. You've lost it. I thought you said you had it together. You were solid. Robert De Niro wanted to do, I think, the kind of throwdown acting that we haven't seen him do since a lot of the Scorsese pictures, where he just is like, a force to be reckoned with. It's remarkable because he has this way of being so tough and rough and yelling at Bradley, but you can just see the love in his eyes and then it always comes back around to them being tender with each other. Well, maybe I didn't spend enough time with you growing up. I spent too much time with your brother. There's always a beautiful side to it and when one door closes, another one opens and Every time you think that you're losing, you gain something even bigger. Wait, what's this? Well, I thought you were doing it. Oh, I thought you were doing it.